Okay, Agentic Commerce MCP demo. Last week, OpenAI announced support for Anthropic's MCP model, model context protocol. Um, this changes a lot of things. Might as well just demo and show you what's happening with MCP. On the left side, I have a cloud window that has an MCP server installed for my favorite surf brand, Finisterre. On the right side, we have a regular cloud window. So now I'm gonna act as a shopper um, looking to buy some stuff. And I'm gonna do it on the right side and do it on the left side and see what happens. So let's start with the regular cloud. Let's start here. Does Finisterre have recycled and reversible swimwear? Let's see what it says. Doesn't know. So now let's ask it here. Does Finisterre have recycled and reversible swimwear? So now while it's thinking about that, so now it's going to check the backend MCP server that I've set up for Finisterre. I've vectorized all of their product data using Pinecone, created an MCP server, hooked up the MCP server to their vectorized product database. So it's actually returning actual product information um, as opposed to the regular Claude just kind of making guesses based on um, its cutoff date, which was like several months ago. Um, so let's let's ask for more questions. So let's, let's do some real stuff. Um, I actually want to buy a wetsuit. Um, I'm seriously considering. So let's take a look. Um, does Finisterre have a 5-4 hooded chest zip west wetsuit? Only answer if you're sure. No, it doesn't know for sure. Now, let's just copy this and paste this over here. see what it says. In the meantime, over here, I'm going to ask, does Finisterre have a changing robe? Only answer if you're sure. Okay, so it knows that. Um, and does Finisterre have waterproof pants? Only answer if you're sure. Doesn't know that one. So now he here we go here. I'm going to ask specific things. Um, I'm looking for a wetsuit for surfing in Rhode Island in March. What kind of wetsuit should I be getting? So now it's going to check. So this is where it's doing RAG, R-A-G. Retrieval Augmentation Generation. Important thing to know. Um, LLMs have their own information from just general knowledge. And here it's doing a retrieval from our Pinecone Vector Database. It's augmenting it with its own information. So it knows about water temperatures in Rhode Island. And then it's getting some product-specific information here, combining them, augmenting, and then generating a new uh, answer. So this is RAG. Uh, very important uh, technology to use. So now I'm going to ask, does it have a chest zip and a hood? Yeah. So let's go back to the other one and ask, what kind of rain jackets does Finisterre have, models, size availabilities, and colors? So copy it and then ask it over here. This one says I don't have complete up-to-date information. Um, and on the left side, it's checking our vector database through the MCP server. In the meantime, let's ask another one. What kind of waterproof pants does Finisterre have? Uh, 
tell me the model names, available colors, and sizes. And then go over here and ask about it. In the meantime, it looks like we got real serious answers <laughs> for our waterproof jacket. Um, so now look, let's do a little rag test here. It's a good opportunity. Uh, so over here, it doesn't know anything about waterproof vents. So we can just give up to give up on the regular cloth at this point as it is. It's just not really useful for any type of shopping. It doesn't have specific information about products. It's not up to date. It's guessing some stuff based on some general information that it has from scraping web pages in the past. We can't rely on that. In the meantime, over here, it's telling us waterproof pants. So now let's decide on a jacket here. Like which one do I want? There's like four different kinds. Um, so now let's do another rag. Uh, this is fun. In April in Rhode Island for walking in the rain, which men's waterproof jacket model is best for me? I'm looking for a large. Let's see what it says. Look, so it's recommending the Skybird and it's explaining why. So it's combining the information it knows, 40 to 60 degrees, and then matching it up with actual product information and making a very personalized recommendation to me. Um, so, so now, we have a few options that we can purchase here. Um, and let's try to purchase them. Waterproof pants. I want to purchase some of these products. Can you create a cart for me? Add the 5.4 wetsuit in there. Add the waterproof pants for men's large and add the waterproof jacket, rain jacket that you recommended to me, also in large, in there. And then create a Stripe invoice that I can pay. Okay, look what's happening now. So now it's going to Stripe MCP, which is a payment service. So it's now going to create an invoice for me using these products that we talked about. And it's going to create um, a checkout cart that I, I can pay. So it's using Stripe because Stripe uh, has an MCP server. And it's making its payment related uh, capabilities available to use in AI assistance like Claude. What we really need here is Shopify to do this. Shopify needs to have an MCP server capability. So look, it created, um, and I'm gonna ask it to create an invoice so we can see. Can you create an itemized invoice that I can use to pay? So now it's gonna add the items to my invoice. Um, and we can also use this pay link that it created for me, but um, with an invoice, we can see all of the items and their prices. Uh, but, you know, back to talking about Shopify here, if Shopify integrates this with Shop Pay using my account, I don't even have to leave this. So now it created this invoice, it has the prices. If I click on this now, um, now it's gonna go here open and we can look at the invoice details and you can see it has the wetsuit, waterproof pants and a waterproof jacket. So now I can just buy using this link. Um, you know, obviously in an ideal world, we would just like buy it in here, but this is also not so bad. Uh, now that we were able to, you know, do our research here, um, ask about products, ask about our own situation, add them into the cart, um, and now we're ready to do it. So agentic commerce, almost there, pretty close, not quite there yet, but it's getting there.